increase accountability within the civil service. If an employee under investigation resigns to avoid an adverse action or finding, the bill requires a notation be made in the individual's official personnel file if the adverse finding or action is finalized after the employee's resignation. While this may seem somewhat trivial, it is a loophole that, that needs to be closed. Recently, Federal employee union officials have even encouraged people under investigation to resign as a way to apply for a Federal job at another agency with a clean slate. This is unacceptable. This practice will end if this bill is implemented. Not only does the bill require notation of adverse actions in the personnel file, but it also requires agencies to examine the personnel files of former Federal employees before hiring them. It is a simple bill designed to, to, to stop a very specific problem, and I would urge my colleagues in order to support this. If somebody is being paid by the taxpayers and they are engaged in service, we would assume that the overwhelming majority, the most of them, the majority, are good quality people and they are going to have good positive notations in their file. But there are people that do some silly, stupid stuff, they get caught, and it should be notated, notated as such. And if you simply switch jobs and go from one part of the Federal Government to another Federal part of the Government, another part of the Federal Government, that record should follow you. That is how we know the type of person and the type of employee that you might be. That is what we are trying to get at. We have heard some horror stories, and we are trying to address this with this piece of legislation. Uh, and with